talk a little bit about um, how you gotten started with this business and what your plans? Well, are. rather interesting. Uh, the way I actually got started in this business was that we, my wife and I, Kathy, were actually uh, interested in purchasing a, a couple of electric bikes for our own use. Oh, and as we started to look around as to where we might do this, um, and we, you know, our, our goal was to go out and ride several different brands to see what might be appropriate for us. I thought, uh, you know, that would be the best approach because, uh, you know, we, we, we wanted to make a, a good rational deci decision, uh, decision about uh, the, the, the quality of the product and such. And when I started looking and uh, realized that really uh, in the New England area, there's really not what you'd call uh, a, a retail that it offers a wide range of electric bikes. Mm. And uh, my, my search brought me down to the New York area. Um, and, um, you know, uh, I, I thought, geez, if, if that's the closest place you can go to actually see several brands and maybe get on several different brands, uh, maybe it would be appropriate to actually open an electric bike uh, store in southern uh, New England, and in particular, uh, 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 southern New Hampshire, I want to say. Both Kathy and I are originally from Massachusetts, but raised our children up in Maine. And uh, so here we are after a, a couple of months more of research, uh, uh, we actually uh, pulled the trigger and started to make things happen. Well, these typically have a range of from 15 to 20 miles with no pedaling at all. Yeah. So it's all about extending your range. Um, you know, typically, uh, you know, people get, want to get on a bicycle, they, they can go a distance, uh, but as you tend to get older and your joints don't work as well, I know I got a bad knee, I get a hip that acts up. Uh, I struggle on a, a traditional bike. Uh, you know, I get out a mile or so and, and you know, things are acting up. So uh, having an electric now extends my capability. I no longer struggle when I get to a hill because we, we use the motor and I just assist in the pedaling uh, to lift some of the load off the motor as right. you climb in hills. And it, and it, it extends your, your range greatly. You, you, you don't work up a sweat and, and it's just a, a nice, comfortable ride. So that's the crux of it, is the idea that uh, you can do either one or both at the same time. That's correct. It's, it's your choice. You're operating uh, the bike. You can pedal as much as you want or as little as you want. And if you choose, you can uh, simply uh, ride on the motor uh, without any pedaling. It, it, it's it's uh, the operator's choice. Uh, it kind of touches uh, the green movement a bit in that it's a sustainable type uh, um, product in that it offers a, a way for just pennies a day of use without polluting the environment uh, whatsoever. Uh, it's a totally green. The motors are uh, typically a DC brushless motor that run on a lithium style batteries. Uh, and um, you know, they, you charge them up when they're not in use and they'll take you, as I said, uh, ranges up to 20 miles w without any pedaling. And the more you contribute in the pedaling, uh, the further distance uh, you have on a single charge. Is it easy to charge? Uh, it plugs in much like you would uh, say a laptop computer. It has a little charging box, plug it into a wall uh, socket, plug into the battery and um, it, it's actually a smart charger. They have light uh, that indicates it's, it's uh, charging and when fully charged the, the amber light turns green so you know it's completed yeah. the charge. You have dual brakes as a, a, a typical uh, okay. bicycle, hand grips yep. front and rear. Um, to shift the, uh, the bike, uh, it's right in seventh gear now. Uh, we'll put it on third gear. The big one shifts it up, the little one shifts it down. And this is your power switch. So once you get pedaling and you want to give it some motor, just, tip, uh, just give this power button a switch up and then it's all in the control of your wrist. <laughs> I should mention these are not designed as road race bikes in the sense that the maximum speed on the motor itself is 20 miles per hour on any of our bikes and that's to meet a federal requirement to still be classified a bicycle and for safety concerns uh, but you can and that's on motor alone you can certainly uh, when you're pedaling uh, get the bikes going a little faster than that here you go <laughs> he's getting the hang of it yeah and these bikes are great hill climbers. It's all about extending your range. Uh, these, these bikes, you come to a big hill and uh, you, you make use of the motor and, and uh, certainly uh, makes the ride that much easier.
good. Beautiful. Thank you, Paul. Well, appreciate you stopping by, Larry, and, and uh, test driving one of our uh, electric bicycles.